Electronics and social media can have a significant impact on a child's mental health. In fact, it can be so powerful that it can affect their development and well-being. As parents and caregivers, it's important to be aware of the dangers that can come from overuse of electronics and social media. It's also important to be thinking about ways you can model healthy use and protect your children from negative outcomes. In this blog post, I will share five ways electronic and social media can negatively affect childhood mental health. I will also provide some practical tips on how to set healthy boundaries and work to keep your children safe online. So jumping in, first, phone overuse. One of the most common dangers of social media is overuse of electronic social interaction, often through a tablet or phone. Addictive behaviors begin with a pattern of compulsive engagement and moves to unhealthy attachments to viewing and maintaining proximity or closeness to the electronic device, such as a phone, with feelings of withdrawal when asked to live without it. Not only is phone or tablet social overuse dangerous for a child's mental health, social skill development, and emotional health, it can also be harmful to their physical health. In fact, children who demonstrate addictive behaviors to tablets or phone are more likely to develop obesity and other health problems. To protect your children from tablet or phone addiction, set time limits on how much screen time they're allowed each day. Make sure they have plenty of other activities to do outside of using electronics too. Maybe even think about having a bag of quote different toys or pocket games for times when children have to wait to avoid feeling like they need to be electronically entertained. Also, try to model healthy tablet and phone use habits for your children. Find times during the day to create electronic free times. This can be hard, but try starting with five minutes a day and all electronics off and have some fun questions to ask each other to promote in-person social interaction. Next up, social development. So second, I'd like to highlight the primary dangers electronics and social media can pose when used without moderation on healthy social development. Specifically, it is important to consider that when children lack in-person interaction, research shows clear underdevelopment in important social skills, such as reading nonverbal cues of human emotion, and the use of others to regulate their responses. Over time, unchecked social media access can lead to problems in personal relationships and make it difficult to form relationships in the real world. Third, self-esteem. Another danger of social media is that it can have a negative impact on children's self-esteem. When children are constantly comparing themselves to others online, they can start to feel inferior and unhappy with themselves. This can lead to problems such as depression and anxiety. In addition, social media can also promote negative body image and premature interactions with quote, sexualization or being, quote, beautiful. When children are constantly exposed to images of, quote, perfect bodies, they can start to feel insecure about their own appearances and make choices to act in ways they think will make them feel good. This can lead to things like eating disorders, sexual issues, and other issues, including mental health problems. Fourth, mental health. So perhaps the biggest danger of social media is that it can have a negative impact on children's mental health. When children are constantly exposed to things like cyberbullying, violence, pornography, it can lead to problems such as depression and anxiety and 
in extreme cases, even suicide. Making sure to have regular conversation with your children about what they see and are seeing, as well as your family values and rules, is crucial. I really appreciate using books as a really great conversation starter with my own kids on social media usage. And fifth, inconsistent sleep. In addition to the dangers of social media, there are also some dangers associated with using screens in general. One such danger is inconsistent sleep. When children are exposed to screens late at night, it can disrupt their sleep cycle and lead to problems such as insomnia and fatigue. To protect your children from the dangers of screens, make sure they have a set bedtime and stick to it. Also, try to limit screen time before bedtime. And lastly, encourage your children to participate in other activities that don't involve screens. This will help them get a good night's sleep. By following these tips, you can help protect your children from the dangers of electronic and social media overuse. At times, this can be really tricky to figure out alone. If you need additional support, schedule an appointment today with one of our child therapists. We are here to help.